Hi everyone! So today I'm going to show you how to do a couple of really important tasks in Naviance as you are applying to college. So first of all, when you get logged into Naviance, the first place you're going to want to go is Colleges I'm Applying To. Now I've already added in a lot of colleges to my Naviance account. I'm going to show you how to do the same thing. If you are someone who is applying to schools mainly using the Common Application, you are not going to have to add in a lot of schools to your Naviance account. Anytime you add a school into the Common App, it'll be added to your Naviance as long as your accounts are matched and there's information about how to do that in my Common Application video. If you're applying to a school that does not use the Common App, um, or you're just not using the Common App to apply, then you're gonna add all of your schools using this pink plus sign. So I will type in Southwest Minnesota State and it will hopefully appear. It just did a second ago. There it is. Sometimes it's a little touchy about what it wants to add. Um, if it does that to you, I would recommend to just keep trying. And then there will be an option for college deadlines. So Southwest Minnesota State just has this like regular decision deadline. That's not this September. They're talking to September, or excuse me, September. They're talking September of 2022. Um, remember, early action deadlines are usually what you want to go for if they're available. Early action means that your application will be a priority for admission and financial aid. There is are some slides on Google Classroom that review all of the different types of deadlines. So you can check those out or talk to your college counselor if you need help figuring out which one is right for you. There will also be an option if you're for how you're submitting your application. Since we're only adding schools to Naviance that don't use the Common App, you are just going to hit directly to the institution, which means you're just going on the school's website to apply. And then you can go ahead and just hit Add Application. And that's all you have to do. Super, super easy. Now, one thing I wanna show you related to this is how to request letters of recommendation. So after you've added all of your schools into Naviance, whether you've done that by using the Common App or um, by adding them just directly into Naviance, you can click on the Colleges tab at the top of the page and click Letters of Recommendation. You can go ahead then and hit Add Request and select the teacher that you've added a recommendation for. I'm going to select myself. And then you want to make sure you select all of your colleges. So this is why you don't want to add any recommendations until all of your colleges are added. Um, you want to make sure that all of your colleges are added so that those get attached to every application you send. So make sure you check select all when you request so those teachers recommendations get attached to every application that needs it. Then you can go ahead and hit submit request and you're done. If you need to add another request, it's the exact same process. Now there's one last really important step for college applications that I wanna show you. And this will happen after you finished submitting an application on a college's website. So let's say that I'm done submitting my application to Southwest Minnesota State. I'm now going to request my transcript. Now for Common App schools, you will only need to submit a transcript request for the very first school that you apply to. After that, everything's going to be done automatically for you, which is awesome. But do a transcript request at least for the first time. For all other schools that don't use the Common App, you will do this process every single time that you apply. So I just applied to Southwest Minnesota State and I'm gonna request my transcript. You're always going to hit that you are requesting an initial transcript and you don't need to do anything with ACT scores. Where it asks, when it asks where you are sending the transcript, select the school that you just finished applying to and hit done. And then you just hit request and finish. Super easy. We did all of those three really important tasks in less than five minutes. So these are very easy, but so important. Uh, once you hit request transcript, what that does is uh, send a notification to my Naviance account that you have submitted an application and are ready for your transcript to be sent. From there, I go into my half of Naviance and send in your transcripts, letters of recommendations, and any other supporting documents that are needed. 
please reach out to your college counselors if you have any questions about these process, but otherwise, happy applying!